one of the biggest problems with passenger rocket transport is that it's very expensive. But well, what if you put the passengers inside the booster rockets, which will be thrown away anyway? Today, we're gonna use the default Kerbal Space Program rocket over here, just to show that this concept can work on any rockets. Alright, let's launch now. Nice counting down. There we go. So, the goal of this mission would be to land one of these passenger boosters on that island over there. Alright, separation. And we're controlling. Oh, hold on. Alright, this is not supposed to happen in the final product. At this stage, we're gonna detach the vehicle. Hold on. Let me try to get away from all these other. Get away! Detaching the passenger cabin. And we're gonna fly to that island now. Oh, I forgot to put batteries. We actually still have control over the vessel. I should be gaining control once we get faster here. Alright, I've gained aerodynamic control. Let's fly to that island now. Come on. Um, kind of just drops like a rock here. Alright, we gotta edit the design a little bit. Let's see whether or not the parachute works at least. This might make a good missile design actually. Alright, opening the parachute. There we go. Well, that didn't really go as planned but the concept is sound. So we probably just need like bigger wings, right? Uh, hold on. So something like this, maybe? Alright, here it goes. Separation. And let's get away from all the other passengers uh, get out of the way all right separating the head now oh i forgot to put the batteries again it's fine though we know this can work without batteries um i'm kind of stuck to the booster what the hell uh get uh, get away <laughs> i see the problem now i think the large wings are welding the booster and the passenger cabin together yeah, it's not coming off at all. Uh, this looks kind of wrong. There we go. Do I have control authority? No. <laughs> Alright, I've modified the design again. This design actually looks kind of cool. I like the aesthetic. Oops. Oh, I forgot to put in the Kerbals. Space program is hard. Oh, what's wrong with the kerbals? They're like looking down at something. <clears throat> Alright. Separation. Oh, wait. There we go. What the hell? Alright. We got proper separation. Let's try to fly this now. Alright, looking good. This is actually flyable. Can we actually glide forward? <laughs> Look at that. This is actually working. You know, sometimes I'm unironically proud of myself. Let's fly to the island. Hmm, what's the optimal glide slope here? Glide angle. Oh, we're getting closer to the island. I cannot believe this is actually working. <laughs> Look at the view from up here. Oh, let's go to first person, by the way. Oh, never mind, there's no first person. The developers need to work on the first person models already. This is Sam Fraud Kerman. We're getting closer to the island airport, airfield. I can see the airfield now. I'm gonna go on a steeper dive here. Hmm. And this bird you cannot change. Alright. Deploying parachute now. Hmm. Are you gonna slow down? <laughs> so the exit is like back there, right? So I shouldn't be landing flat here. Alright. I'm gonna try to roll. Before touch down, uh, can we roll? Roll. Uh, we don't have enough power to roll. Can I exit the vessel? Uh. Well, that's just a slight design hiccup, you know. But as you guys can see here, the concept and the design work very well. Well, time for me to go on cable news. <laughs> 